一二三，台湾 number one。What's going on, everybody? Jonathan here. Today we are Taiwan on four wheels. Today I'm with Cole Fogel on a healthy balance. Who do we got in the back? Jace. It's a little bit rainy right now, but it's okay. This too shall pass. As soon as this rain passes, we're gonna get out of the car and hike to Qingren Gu Pu Bu Lovers Waterfall. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes wind and sometimes rain. Then the sun comes back again. Sometimes rain and sometimes snow. Goodness, how we'd like to know why the weather alters so. Hiked back down to the first waterfall. That second waterfall was awesome. We did some swimming. We talked to some locals. We had a good time. I believe now we're gonna meet up with one of Cole's friends, Lee, to check out another waterfall. Where you're at now with your ability with Chinese, how how long would you say it took you to get to where you're at now? Like, did it take you a year, two years, six months? Several years, several years. So at what point though, did you hit a point where you were like, you had that aha, like, oh, I get this language now and I can go out there and I can get by. Like how, like, I, like it must have been a certain turning point, right? With the language for you? I guess for any language learner, the turning point or is really when you go to the country where they speak that language and you you're out in public and you actually, you know, you need help or you need to know how to get somewhere. You use the language, you ask someone and you get the response you're looking for. And it's kind of that, aha. Like, oh my this, goodness, people get me. This actually works. I remember the first time I had been learning Spanish, I took one course for a semester and then I went to Panama during my summer break for a couple of weeks and I got off the plane and I leave the airport and I just walk across the street and I walked up to a woman and I said, uh, donde esta la estacion de autobús? Where is the bus station? And she pointed across the road and told me the directions and I just walked away smiling like, Oh, that's oh, awesome. It worked. <laughs> so do, do you remember your first time in Taiwan having that experience or is it just a series of different experiences? Well, I had gone to China before I came to Taiwan. Okay. So I was using Chinese there and... But even before that, I had used it in the States with friends or had, you know, gone places where there are Chinese speakers, which is very easy to find in the States and I'm sure yeah. in Canada as well. Hello. Hey. Other rock climbing equipment. <laughs> Lee's a big rock climber.
how did we get here? We rock hopped off the river probably 30 minutes with Cole's friend Lee to get to this spot. There's no path leading here. It feels like a place that a lot of locals don't even come to. Back to the car. Jace, at any point do you feel like we are in any danger? Yeah. Which part? I was a little bit worried too. I yeah, I'll be honest, yeah, and that was the point where I went into full-on like daddy mode and was like, Jace, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> 